Dubai is an idyllic destination that has quite a number of tourist attractions and very many activities that you can do. So even if you're traveling on a budget, you definitely want to have a good time effortlessly. Here are some things that you can do. Number one, enjoy the skyscraper views. The architects in Dubai went out of the ordinary. They really did a good job. It has so many skyscrapers that are built in different designs, so you definitely enjoy having, you know, these beautiful views. Number two, create content. You're definitely in a place that has quite a number of tourist attractions, beautiful scenes, and views here and there so creating content would be a very enjoyable thing for you to do number three take a drive-through city tour this is definitely going to help you feel so good because you can see quite a number of places look at quite a number of you know different structures in dubai and you feel really happy you should note though that transportation in dubai is quite expensive if you're going to rent a car or even if you're going to use, you know, Uber or a Karim, it's quite expensive. There, you know, transportation is not so cheap. So you actually have to plan this quite well. But it would definitely give you a very good, you know, idea of how many of the places actually do look like. This is a place that has, it's a desert definitely. So seeing this green was definitely amazing to me. They have a very good irrigation system. If you're, if you're able to take quite a closer look that keeps these, you know, plants looking green and fresh and really beautiful. I mean, look at all of this uh, infrastructure, quite a number of lands, very good infrastructure and it looks in very good shape it definitely looks very well maintained so a city drive through would definitely give you a very good feel of the dubai infrastructure and the very good job that you know they have actually done within a very short period of time 190 years number four go swimming D dubai is usually hot most of the time of the year since you know it's located in the desert area of the world so going swimming would definitely be very thoughtful number five visit the Burj khalifa this is the tallest building in the whole world with 163 floors and over 830 meters tall so visiting the Burj khalifa would definitely be very worthwhile it has quite a number of tourists as you can see that flock this place you know quite a lot because you know everybody wants to you know see the Burj khalifa and not forgetting the fact that it's located next to quite a number of shopping areas the dubai mall is also just right next to it so yeah you definitely get fine dining shopping around here and very good views as well the place is beautifully designed so it's worthwhile
Number six, enjoy the dancing fountains show. I like this in the night because the water is dancing to the music and then the lights as well, rhyming with the water. The Baj Khalifa starts lighting up. Definitely, it's a very beautiful show. Quite a number of people here, so you have to be a bit early in order to enjoy the view first hand with a very good view. Otherwise, you'd have to stand at the back. But these keep on dancing after every about uh, 15 to 30 minutes so you basically just have to keep calm and wait for the next <laughs> for the next show whenever it comes around but it's a very beautiful show to look at <laughs> seven visit the dubai mall this is the biggest mall in the world and it has very many you know brands in here big brands basically so you definitely enjoy moving in here and you'll also be able to you know see this aquarium quite a lot of sea life to see right here different types of fish it's very interesting in here but with very many people the crowd over here is <laughs> it's very surprising but it's definitely worth it well basically the Burj Khalifa and the Dubai mall are located right next to different you know uh, monuments or places where people like to take you know pictures that show that you're in Dubai there is this I love Dubai with lights and then there is this beautiful hut as well so it's a very interesting place with quite a number of people so if you do not love crowds mm, this is not your type of place <laughs> well number eight visit the museum of the future i really love this structure because it defies the normal it's basically an overshaped structure who would even think of that very interesting and very thoughtful this building is uh, located uh, you know in a place whereby uh, well, it's not very crowded as such. It's a very beautiful place. Quite a number of tourists that go in here to visit it in the night. It starts glowing very beautifully. I did. I wasn't able to get you know pictures of it glowing in the night, but it's a very beautiful sight. Well, the Museum of the Future also has quite a number of tourists. So we walked in, and there are very many. You actually have to book early in order to be able to visit the lines over here are quite long because i mean who doesn't want to visit the dubai of the future it's basically the future of science robots and all it's a very amazing place and the best thing here is that you can actually take back some souvenirs back home and enjoy the memory of you having visited the museum of the future you can visit the museum of the future on the ground floor for free without paying any penny and then if you want to visit the other floors or the rest of it then you have to pay money in order to be able to visit it i think it's about uh, 95 dirhams yeah to be able to visit the rest of all the other floors and step into the future of science and technology and all Number nine, visit the Dubai Fram. Well, it may look a bit boring because it's just there and then what? Until you get to understand what actually lies behind the Dubai Fram. Well, when you look at, when you're at one side of the Dubai Fram, you actually get to see the new Dubai. And then from the other side, you get to see the old Dubai quite interesting right number 10 visit the miracle garden the miracle garden is a place that has quite a number of flowers very beautifully laid out it's a very good place that you know kids would enjoy basically looking at all of these different you know like cartoon characters adorned in flowers and all it's a very beautiful place if you're the kind of person that loves color that loves you know uh, basically the whole floral feel it's a very interesting place and you'd feel quite satisfied from it. Number 11, go for a desert safari. Here you can get these beautiful souvenirs of colored sand and camels that are moving. Well, it's a very nice thing. They can actually also put your name as well. I would recommend that you go to this place in the evenings because it's very hot during the daytime as well. Very big crowds over here. 
and you actually have to be careful because there's so many businessmen over here that are trying to sell to you their things trying to sell to you their services so like this hawk for example they would give it to you and say can i put it on your shoulder you say yes they put it on you and then after that you have to give him money but when they're asking you 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 may actually think that it's for free or anything so you have to actually be sure that uh, you're ready to pay for it so there are quite a number of businessmen here then you can as well go desert biking over here it's a very interesting activity if you actually want to you know use some energy <laughs> it's very interesting so desert biking would definitely be a very thoughtful thing for you to do because you actually get to feel the desert terrain as well while you're biking Number 13, catch the sunset. This is very beautiful. The sunset at the desert is so nice. I think because there are no structures to block the sunlight, uh, the view you get, and then maybe because there are no trees that are too tall to, to block the view as well. So it's a very interesting view. You would definitely enjoy catching this sunset. While at, the, while at the desert safari, you can definitely go sand bashing and then climb on this uh, Land Rover that definitely goes riding so in us. <laughs> it basically rides uh, so fast and it keeps on bumping here and there. It's a very interesting thing. <laughs> it's actually fun. <laughs> what? Number 15, well, for the desert safari, you can definitely have a camel ride. It could either be a short camel ride or a long camel ride. These camels are too tall for some reason, <laughs> but very interesting. Then you can definitely enjoy this show of these, uh, you know, dancers that are using belly dances and all. And then to 16, you can have a Hina tattoo. This was my very first Hina tattoo. I really loved it. This lady is so good at her job. She does it so effortlessly and she's actually very creative as well i think you know practice makes perfect I really like how beautifully it turned out and then here it is when it dried up I was basically showing it off the whole time but I think my skin later reacted uh, so I'm not sure if I would do this again but I really loved it actually <laughs> and then enjoy the dancing shows these ladies I think they call it the belly dancing these ladies are so talented at their job they use these cups and all very interesting
think they kept the whole crowd really entertained dancing to this arabic music and i think i sh- i joined them at some point <laughs> well they're very interesting and then these guys come dancing with all of these you know it's full of color literally very talented people you could actually get dizzy doing this if you're a, you know if you if you're not used to doing this but you know they can do it for a long time i think it's about an hour's show while they're dancing to this <laughs> fire guys well this is a very interesting show playing with fire is not something that is so easy because you're going to be scared that it could burn you but you know i think practice makes perfect you definitely get used at some point in time they're very talented and you can literally tell that they're enjoying their job because they dance with this fire with a smile <laughs> very beautiful don't try this at home though number 18 go shopping dubai has quite a number of places so definitely go shopping if you can i mean look at my happy shopping face <laughs> Well then visit the global village. This place is so beautiful. It has lights and with very many you know countries that have stalls over here that have you know that are that are all being aligned out here. The lights are too many. The crowds here are enormous. This is all parking by the way, but then it gives better justice in the night. I mean, look at all of this color. The colors keep changing from green to peach to red to pink. It's so beautifully laid out. So, there are quite a number of countries that are, you know, uh countries and continents that are being uh that are here okay like for example there is america there is china there is africa there is afghanistan there is iran uh there is i think i did see there's so many actually india there's so many it's a very beautiful place you can basically buy yourself some souvenirs from here you know things that are known to be in that country they're all out here quite a lot to eat as well <laughs> I have watched too many videos of this ice cream guy so finally i was able to meet him and laugh at myself as well it actually gets quite tiring for him to keep on you know giving you the ice cream and then making you <laughs> and then not giving it to you but it's very interesting a very interesting thing to do So because you're traveling on a budget visiting Dera would be a very thoughtful thing because you can get uh quite affordable things from Dera that you wouldn't actually be able to get from you know Dubai uh the city itself okay so from Dera you can get things that are quite fairly priced and you can as well go boat riding as well so that's it really that you can do while you're in dubai effortlessly and if you're also traveling on a budget there are quite a number of things that you can do that are more than what i have shown you like for example visiting the ain of dubai um visiting quite a number of monuments that you can actually be able to look at i hope you like this video leave me a thumbs up like this video and share as well